Hi friends. Um, I just wanted to take a second to discuss a little problem in my recovery I had recently this this week. Um, today is Sunday, January 23rd, getting close to 4 p.m. here in Michigan. Um, so, um, you know, a lot of you guys know I got out of um, rehab uh, about a week ago from today, and uh, things have been going pretty good. It's just that uh, Friday and Saturday were kind of my biggest challenges here thus far. Um, basically, what happened was um, I had a Friday, I had a rough day with uh, auditory hallucinations, you know, hearing voices and that kind of thing. Um, so Friday morning before I woke up, I was dreaming in my sleep about all the different voices I hear. And then... Um, I woke up actually to hearing a lot of voices and it was just really noisy, um, all morning pretty much. And, uh, I was getting pretty aggravated and, um, I took my morning meds, um, and I also took an emergency Bistral because, um, I don't take Bistral very much anymore unless there's something like really wrong. And I felt like that was kind of a reason to, um, you know, I felt like that was a pretty good reason to it and just sort of get me calmed down and, um, you know, get my head glued on straight. So I did it and it worked, but, um, I wanted to kind of take a look at some of the things I did wrong that could have led up to this. Um, yesterday I kind of slowed down for a minute and I thought back to when I was living in Seattle and I had my hearing voices group with my peer specialist, Lou Middleton at DESC. And I thought back to what Lou said about what we can think about when we're struggling with hearing voices, um, you know, looking at what we could have done wrong. Um, and I remembered when Lou, what Lou said was when he's hearing a lot of voices, um, you know, he looks at things like, well, what has he been eating lately? How much exercise has he been getting? Has he been sleeping? Has he been taking medicine, you know? Um, just different um, nutritional aspects, you know? And so I thought about it and I was just like, well, shit, I haven't been eating, or I mean, yeah, I haven't been eating right and I haven't been exercising right. And those are two major factors. My sleep has been pretty good and I've been taking medicine every day. So that's been pretty good. But, um, you know, if you think about it, like last week was my birthday. I think it was last week, Thursday. And uh, if you look, I was not eating very good at all because what happened was um, my grandpa and my significant other and my uncle got together and took me out to lunch. We went to an Oriental buffet. We went to New Great Wall Buffet here in Grand Rapids on the west side. It's a really good buffet if anybody in the Grand Rapids area is interested. It's on Leonard and Pine Street on the west side. Um, but anyway, we went there. And it was delicious, don't get me wrong, but not the healthiest, you know what I mean? So I ate two big plates there, including like four crab rangoon, sweet and sour sauce, um, something else with sweet and sauce, sour sauce on it. So just a lot of, a lot of fried foods and a lot of sweets, you know? Um, and then later that night, my neighbor brought me over a birthday cake and ice cream to celebrate which again, don't get me wrong, it was delicious. You know, it was a great time, but uh, obviously not very healthy. So on my birthday, you know, I had a lot of really good food, but not a very healthy diet for someone who struggles with hearing voices. So that next morning, shit kind of hit the fan. And I think that's why. The other thing you've got to think about is... um my lack of exercise because I really hadn't been exercising up until, well, I mean, I really haven't been exercising since I left, left the treatment center. Um, when I was in the treatment center in Brighton, I was exercising several times a week because they had a gym there and I, I got more exercise there than I had gotten in a very long time. Plus I was doing push-ups in my room. So I was getting plenty of exercise. And then that pretty much came to a stop when I left the treatment center. So um, definitely a lack of exercise this past week. 
Um, so those are kind of the two major factors that have uh, contributed to this whole, I think contributed to this whole voice hearing exercise thing or voice hearing thing. Cause um, you know, I've been getting good sleep and I've been consistent with medication. So overall I've been doing pretty good, but it was just, you know, it was just one day, you know? And so the rest of Friday and pretty much all of yesterday, I did a lot of sleeping. I did a lot of sleeping really up till about 12 noon today. So I got caught up on my rest and I got calmed down and rejuvenated and everything. Today's going very good. Um, I worked out my budget because um, my dad is now my payee for my money. So we can keep better track of my money and um, save up some money, hopefully. And um, I've been uh, using an app on my phone that my stepmom taught me about that... Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Um, this bud, this app on my phone that um helps me keep track of my budget. Um, so I've been using that and saving all my receipts and everything, and looking at where all my money goes. So I was working on that today, and I just got out of the shower and getting ready to go to an in-person meeting. Um, because my new sponsor thinks it's a good idea for me to go to an in-person meeting instead of just doing online meetings. So that's my plan for this afternoon. Um, so. Yeah, overall doing very well, back on the right track, getting back on my diet, having some salads today for lunch and dinner. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll make a new video sometime this week to let you guys know how things are going with my recovery. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend. Peace out.